Good morning, Sundance owner. It's the morning of departure, and we're here cleaning up. So I've got an anchor in hand with my buddy Dave. We're going to come over here and just kind of demonstrate how we rinse all our stuff off when we put it away. It's all full of sand. Here we go. Shake, shake, shake. A little bit more. Shake, shake, shake. Sorry, Dave. Okay, now we're sand free. Come over here, it's a two person operation so you don't hurt yourself. Run that chain down through the hole. I'll get this in. Gently slide that in there. It hangs like a weapon. Right out front. Bring that chain up here. The one that doesn't have any sand on it. <laughs> wrapped around like so. And that can dangle down there or if you want you can go one more time and make it look real neat. While we're here I'm just going to show you one other trick of the trade. When you bring your ramp out most of you probably know this but again this is for beginners. It's nice to have a little tote. Typically not one this tall. It's got a little water in it. You step up on the ramp. It's normally all the way out. We've got it up here because we're getting ready to break down. But you get up here, you can rinse your feet out before you step into the boat. Keeps the boat nice and clean. We like clean, right? All right, so thanks. Okay, I'm going to come up here and show you the anchor real quick. We talked about burying the anchor. So I wanted to take a moment. This morning, I've dug this one up pretty much, but I want you to see how it lays. We bring a trench here, and if Kaylee, if you can go up around the top, just kind of get a visual of the angle of onset. All the way up there, so you can see from straight line. All the way up. So maybe a little bit more. I want to see the angle. So the idea is to have that anchor in direct line, the way it can hit the boat. Now this rope went all the way to the fleet in the back. Unfortunately, I took the rope down already. I was really just going to show you this, but you'll see here how I dug the trench down. So the anchor doesn't come up sharp like this, it actually pulls down evenly and it dries both of these. It takes the tip of the anchor and shoves it down into the sand. I generally put a couple rocks on the back to hold it in so it doesn't pop out. If you're down this deep, this is like uh, probably about two and a half feet where it lays flat. Again, I dig it so the points can go in. The idea is that the anchor pulls into the sand and you don't want it to flop out, so you, you trench this down so the angle of onset is more even with the pull of the rope. That way the anchor binds into the sand and holds the boat. We went through pretty two healthy storms on this trip, and you can see that one actually pulled a little bit into the sand, but not much. So it, it was anchored well. We didn't have any problem. And she turns around. This one here, again, if you can go back on top to this one's still set up, and you can see how the, the rope is caught the direct angle on this chain to where that anchor is buried. All right, that's it. Thanks for paying attention. I hope you have a safe anchoring next time you decide to do this. Again, for those pros, there may be other ways of doing it, but this is how I do it. I'm just sharing. Thanks so much.